And new at six tonight, COVID-19 has certainly shaken up education. But where do fine art classes fit in? We talked to teachers about how they had to get creative with their curriculum for this year. 13 News reporter Richard Bodie shows us what you can expect. Whether you're playing an instrument or painting a portrait, fine arts classes won't be the same this year. All summer, the uh, fine arts teachers have been meeting, trying to come up with different plans and programs that we can use to change um, our instruction. While some school districts may opt to eliminate the arts due to COVID-19, RPS 205 and Harlem 122 teachers Dylan Ladd and Michelle West say their districts understand arts importance. Arts are essential to the whole child's development at school. We all know there's kids, the only reason they come to school is for those classes. That's where they express themselves and communicate their feelings and emotions and their lives through their artwork. So if art imitates life, what resembles the chaos of COVID-19? Students will have devices at home that they'll be able to sing or perform into, and then we'll be able to um, get that as teachers and use that for assessment. And so they won't be performing in a group. It'll be more so individualized. Keeping things separate is key. The plan was for the art teachers to create a list of supplies that each student would need that would not be shared. And don't be surprised if you see a whole bunch of students spread out on the football field. <laughs> that's right. If you drive by and you see people singing or playing instruments, that's just our class we're going to have outside, weather permitting, of course. A compromise to keep students and staff safe while still working on their craft or crafts. For your 13 Weather Authority, Richard Bodie, 13 News. And Wes says synchronized learning means half of students will be in person, the other half at home, but everyone will be playing their instruments or singing in choir at the same time.